Good morning for the last time at Port Orleans Riverside. There's our building. We just came from our room back there. We're gonna go on this bridge over to the lobby and have some breakfast. What time is it? Do you know? 7.10 maybe? Gotcha. Something like that, 7 to 7.10. Look at that big, beautiful moon up there. It's uh, about an hour and a half-ish, I guess, until we really have to be at the front of the resort to get on the Disney Magical Express to get back to the airport. I'm just kind of wanting to show the resort for one last time as we leave. There's our building again. I'm so sad to be leaving, but also my body is revolting. So it's probably a good thing, like I said last night. Oh, there's the Riverside Mill. I get my one last Mickey waffle of the trip. I don't know when the last time I'm gonna have a Mickey waffle is. Maybe when we go to Disneyland next, but I'm not sure. Last night we went and picked up all of our last stuff that we needed to pick up from the gift shop. So we're all set there. We're checked into our flight. So we're all good there. Luckily the Disney Magical Express is getting us th getting us there several hours early. So yeah. our flight doesn't leave until noon. Last pancakes of the trip. Mm. But she's really hungry, right? I am very hungry. I was hungry when I went to bed last night at 3 a.m. <laughs> and and we I woke, woke up, up hungry this morning. We woke up a few hours later at 5. <laughs> well, more like 6. Yeah. I mean, the alarms went off at 5. We may not have gotten out of bed till 6, but I wasn't worried because I did so much last night. I knew it wouldn't take that long. Like, like I said, we're pretty much done, and I curled my hair and did stuff like that as well this morning, so like, nice. we're fine. This is going to be my last Mickey waffle. So sad, genuinely very sad <laughs> that this is my last one, but I'm glad I at least get one more before we leave. Take it in, take in the glory of the Mickey waffle. It is glorious and I'm very excited. I'm going to eat this now, and then we're gonna leave. But well, we're gonna go back to the room and get our stuff ready and get out of here. Well, it's time to say goodbye to our room for the last time. We, uh, we have all our stuff mostly put together. Giselle's <laughs> flopping onto the floor to put socks on. We gotta get up to the front of the hotel right now. Well, that's uh, exactly when we wanted you, right? Yeah, we did a good job. We're, we're all ready to go. Uh, we just have a lot of stuff to grab and take up there. We have suitcases and bags and backpacks bags and, and, and bags, bags and bags, bags upon bags. bags. Yes, and <laughs> we're, uh, we're gonna do our best to get all of this stuff squared away onto a plane, but we're gonna have to take it up to the front of the resort first. So I'm gonna pack the camera away into my backpack so I don't have to worry about it while we do that. So, goodbye room. It was nice while we knew you. I'm excited that the next time we'll be here, the rooms will be refurbished. I don't know if we're gonna stay here next time we come, probably not. We'll probably stay at one of the value resorts or something to offset costs, because this, this trip was costly and I mean, that was the point, is to, to splurge a little bit on the trip. The next trip will probably be a little bit... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll help you up. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> my, my hips are just done with me at this point. But our, uh, our next trip will probably be a little bit less splurgy, but we'll see about that. I don't know. I don't really know. We haven't really planned our next trip here. But uh, whenever we do come back here, which I definitely want to, come back to Riverside because I loved it here. It was beautiful. I would love... I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with this, so. Anyway, we're headed off. We somehow got our, all of our baggage through Magical Express and... Without purchasing more. Without purchasing more and through uh, security and through and onto the 
flights and stuff. We got all of our stuff on. We didn't have to, we didn't have to buy another bag. And we're on our way home now. Uh, we've been here on here for a little while. I was asleep just now for a little bit. Did you fall asleep? Oh, yeah. I think we're landing in like 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. So good. We get to go home. We're home. <laughs> it's so weird. We walked in the door and we're like. Where are we? <laughs> it feels really strange being back. I just noticed you put your ears on. Oh. Yeah. Well, I was, I've was. i been wearing this hat since we left. I wore it on the plane. I wore it through the airport. I got some stairs. It was great. Uh, well, we're going to do a little haul now. A little Disney World haul of everything we got while we were in Disney World for the nine days. We were just there. You just watched the vlogs. We showed you some of the stuff. We hardly showed you any of it. There's a lot more that we got that we didn't show you. So we're going to show you all of that now. There's so much. And... <laughs> it's like looking all around us right now, it's... We haven't even actually unpacked. We just pulled out all the stuff that we bought. So that way we can like, immediately after this, we can cut off all the tags, throw the laundry in. Yeah. Start the laundry and then from there actually start actually like... <laughs> putting stuff away because our, our living room is a giant mess right now we just pulled everything out of the suitcase the suitcases are just strewn all, over, strewn all over the place we got a bunch of clothes we need to wash them all so let's get started uh since you know we're i'm wearing this hat let me just start with this hat i got this hat you saw me wear it many times in the parks i love it and i'm probably gonna wear it around the house a lot and i'll probably wear it when we go to Disneyland and our next Disney World trip and all that kind of stuff. But I got a bunch more hats as well. So I got, the first hat that I got was the one that I was the most looking forward to getting. I just wanted a simple Mickey hat that just has this Mickey on it. It's a Nike hat. It's got Nike on the back and it's just a simple black hat with a gray Mickey on it. And I really like it. And I'll probably wear it pretty often uh, to like work and stuff. And it's like the main hat that I was really hoping to get. Uh, I also, this was at the outlet that we went to that first night. It is a Marvel hat. And it's got a little bit of a, a Marvel design underneath of it. I also got, this was the very last hat that I got. It was the last night, or last night in Magic Kingdom. I got this. It's a Tiki Room hat with the, one of the Tiki birds on it. And it says, all the birds sing words on the back, which is fantastical. And I really like the color a lot. And this last hat that I got, I got from... Galaxy's Edge from the Droid Depot. I thought about getting a droid uh, itself, but I decided just to get a hat because the droids are expensive and I don't need it. This is actually practical and I will wear it all the time. It's got this cool patch on the side of it that I really like. And yeah, pretty awesome. So that's all my hats. And I personally don't like how I look in hats, but I love the Tiki Room hat a lot. So if I ever do wear hats... She'll probably steal that one. I'll probably steal that one. It was like a partial... It was like, I really, really wanted it, but like I didn't want to buy it because I knew when I wouldn't use it, so Christopher bought it instead. Well, she, well, she <laughs> was trying to convince me to get it all week, and I did want it. I just wasn't 100% sure, but I the more and more I thought about it, and I tried it on that last night, I really liked it a lot. So I'll probably steal it and wear it a lot, though. And then for the ears that we got really quickly, I got this at the... What was it? Again? Outlet? The outlet store. Yeah. Which is like a little like nightmare before Christmas, like top hat ear set. And I haven't worn it yet. The tags are still on it. I just think this, I'm really excited. I'm potentially thinking of wearing this when we go to Disney next Christmas because if it's into the Disneyland. <laughs> yes, Disneyland next Christmas because it's appropriate because they make it very like night before Christmas and then I also got these Haunted Mansion ears which you saw me wear and they're beautiful and then the last ears that we got were Christopher's that we <laughs> mini, cut the, mini ears, cut the mini ears off. <laughs> yeah so those are the three pairs of ears that we got two of them are mine one is Christopher's and they will all go on display and be beautiful I've switched hats <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I didn't get to wear it all week I think it would it's fun. Okay, so we got a ton of shirts, like so many shirts. I just realized I'm still wearing my headphones. Shirts, sweaters, whatnot. Mostly shirts though. So these first two were from the Unique Low store. So the first one you already saw me wear and it's the one with the little like Mickey on the pocket. That's like the mustard yellow. Mm -hmm. And then I also got one. It's still in the package. I wanted to keep it in the package so you could see how it came. That is in this is a blue color and it has like kind of like a faded out like mickey on it and they're 
so incredibly soft and I got a large in both of them just because I prefer like slightly oversized t-shirts. I prefer an XL or a double XL honestly for t-shirts but these ones are perfect because I can tuck them in with like an XL. I might not be able to like tuck them in fully so in case you're wondering like why I got a large and like I just like large shirts. So this is the first shirt that I got of the week. It was uh, at the, it's really wrinkled right now. Wow. It's, I got it from the, the outlet store. Uh, it's this purple shirt that says Walt Disney World on it. And I liked it. I was going to wear it, but I, I think it just needs to be washed. It, it needs to be washed and dried a little bit. It's just like, it feels loose. It feels like if I dry it, it'll get a little bit like more its shape that it's supposed to be. If that makes sense, but. And purple's your favorite color. Yes, and I'm very excited about it because I really like the color a lot. The next shirt that I ended up getting was also from the outlet store, and that is, it just says like Lost Boys on it, and then... I forgot about this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it says... Neverland. Oh. And it says NVL for Neverland okay. at the bottom. <laughs> I didn't, I just like the Lost Boys thing, and this again is an a large, but I think this is supposed to be more of like a, a women's size, so it feels like it's a little bit smaller than the other two. Still pretty baggy though. And you saw me wear this one of the days. Uh, we had, you know, I, I wore it in the morning for one of the Galaxy's Edge slash Hollywood Studios days. And it says Star Wars written across the back, which I love the way that looks a lot. I really like the way I looked in this shirt. I really like the shirt a lot. I will be wearing this all the time, especially when it gets colder outside. It was not comfortable to wear in Disney World in Florida in the heat. But I, luckily it was only half a day, so it was fine. So another shirt that I ended up getting from Uni Unique Low is like this absolutely adorable like Monsters Inc. shirt where they're all like, all the characters are like ice cream cones. And then it says, I scream, you scream, we all scream. I wish the pattern was all the way around, but I just, it's really I saw cute. it. And I was just like, this is totally my like aesthetic and that one's in an extra large. So you saw me wear this one also. Uh, it's the Steamboat Willie shirt that I wore uh, the second Epcot day, which was Saturday, I guess, and wore it with my Steamboat Willie hat, and I love it. I'm gonna be wearing this shirt all the time. Giselle got one also. I got it first, and then Christopher saw it, and he's like, I, I love that, I want it. And well, I was we like... were walking around, and I didn't see it at first, and then she showed me it, and I was like, I need that shirt. That's <laughs> mine, right? You got that from me? And she's like, no, I got it for myself, but I will get you one too. So we both got one. They're both extra larges, and we're gonna match sometime. Oh They're so cute, I love them. I'm I love obsessed that. with them. <laughs> I love that shirt a lot. And then this is something that I've been looking forward to getting since I saw that it came out. I love the spirit jerseys. I like the Star Wars one I just got. I love the Disneyland ones that I have. I have a black one and a, a green one in the Disneyland one. Uh, instead of getting a just regular spirit jersey, though, for Disney World, I got a hoodie. Uh, it's a hoodie version of the spirit jersey, and it says Walt Disney World on the back. I will definitely be wearing this constantly throughout the fall and winter because I love the way these look. And I'm I, my f coworker loves Disney World also. And he got one when he went earlier this year, and I've been jealous, and I'm very excited to have one now. And he literally wears spirit jerseys like three times, I, I wear three, my, I three wear, times a week already. I wear my black spirit jersey <laughs> constantly to work and stuff. All right, and then another shirt that I got from Unique Low is this like navy and white striped shirt that has a Mickey Mouse on it, and then it says, we always make you smile, Mickey Mouse. And I just, I don't know, I really like stripes. I, I like that shirt a lot too. And I got this one in a medium, so it will be like a bit of a tighter fit. It will be good to tuck in to some jean shorts. In Epcot there, well actually a couple of the parks have like an Art of Disney store, but the one in Epcot uh, had this sweater and I fell in love with it. Giselle pointed it out to me and I immediately was like, I have to get that because I love it. I really wanted some like Mickey Mouse sweater, like shirt or sweater or something to wear, especially like in the winter. And I found the perfect one. And it's fleece lined inside. It's, it's really, really soft. Nice. It's really yeah. comfortable. Something that I also got from Unique Low that is not Disney, but that I am obsessed with is this like Pac-Man shirt with it has all the like Pac-Man ghosts on it. And of course little like Pac-Mans running around to eat them all. And uh, it does have the print on the back as well, which I prefer. I just love shirts that have tiny prints on it, and I got this in a double XL. It's going to be huge and baggy and wonderful, and I... Their, their sizes are all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> I can wear a lot of sizes, but I must say, from all the clothes that we got at Unique Low, 
they're all really, really soft. They are. There's something I really, like, I wanted to buy so many shirts at Disney World, and they were all so scratchy, or they were, like, 35 bucks. I'm like, I'm not spending 35 bucks on a t-shirt, but all, yeah. like, the reasonably priced shirts there were, like, horrible quality, and I just can't wear scratchy shirts, so I'm really glad that we were able to get some really soft from, this, from, you, from Uniqlo, because, like, I didn't actually buy, like, any shirts directly from like the Disney parks because of that. <laughs> anyway. Well, we, yeah. Well, we, the unique low is great. I, I, if there was one near us, we'd probably be there all the time because they have lots of Disney stuff all the time. They constantly like cycle out the collections they have. But this is one that I got from unique low. It's a sweater and it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. It's got the gang right there and it's just like a black sweater. And it's also on the sleeve. I don't know sure how well it's going to come out on camera. Thank you. It says Mickey and Friends on it. Mickey and the Gang. Mickey and the Gang, sorry. I couldn't read it back. The camera is showing us backwards right now. It'll fix that in post. But <laughs> the, yeah, it says Mickey and the Gang. And it's it's really cool. I really like the sweater a lot. When it's I saw it, I had to get it. Such yeah. an incredibly like unique art style, too. I know. Really cute. I really do like the art style. And it's comfortable. It's so soft. It's so comfortable feeling. I also got this shirt, uh, which is the same art style. But it's just in color. And when I saw this shirt first, I really liked the color, but I really wanted a sweater version, so I was really happy to see that one. I kind of wish the color, if I, if the sweater wasn't the color, I probably wouldn't have gotten the shirt. But since it's different, I got them both. And since it's an XL, which is my size, new t-shirts, I'll probably end up stealing it and wearing it a lot. Because, like, that art style is, like, to die for. It's wonderful. Yes. And then the last thing that I got from Unique Glow is not themed at all. It's just like a black t-shirt that has like this funky like triangle print pocket. I just really love shirts that have like front pockets like this and I I don't know what it's from. I don't know but either. I, just, I think it's just a cool design. Yeah, yeah. I it's just a nice quality like super like pretty soft and funky and I want more like basic shirts so that was perfect. And then the last two things I ended up getting from the last two like shirts that we ended up getting from the outlet stores are these two. Well one is sh a shirt and one is more like a sweater so the first one is this like Hollywood Studios. Yeah and they had these for all the parks but this one was at the outlet and it was really inexpensive and it's just awesome. Yeah. It's really, it's a really cool design. And yeah, and the sleeves on it. I really love this art style. I already have like a Disneyland, like sweater fleece lined thing yeah. in this style, and it's a style that my like Disneyland dresses in as well. And yeah. I think the reason that might be at the outlet store is they're gonna like redesign it to put like Star Wars land in. Possibly is that my that is actually conspiracy very, theory. That's very possible. But because all the all the other parks still had their version of it in the park itself and not on sale. Yeah. Just this one was on sale, and, and it was I, only 13 bucks. Yeah, and I don't, I would, probably wouldn't have bought them, like, for full price, because, yeah, they're, like, normally 35 and it's, like, a white shirt, and I feel like I have to be, like, more conscious wearing a white shirt, because then to wear the perfect bra and, like, all the stuff, but, like, for 13 bucks, I'll make it work. And then the last thing that I got, last shirt I got from the outlet store was this one that has the Mad Hatter on it, and he's drinking some tea, and then on it, it says, have I gone mad? And then it has like these stripes across the top the front and it's not on the back at all. And it's very cozy. I ended up wearing it on the plane today, actually. Oh yeah. Um, Cause I got cold and it was wonderful. It did a good job of keeping me warm. That's a huge pile of clothes. <laughs> Quick, some socks that I got from the outlet that I'm gonna make Chris give to me for Christmas. I think it'd be cute stocking stuff. Oh yeah, we got some things to give to each other for Christmas. Like we're gonna wrap them and give them to each other. It's so. fine. Anyway, they're just like, they're wrapped like an ice cream. They're really cute and they have like little like mini bows on them and stuff and hearts and... Yeah, Disney did this whole series of clothing things that were like styled as food. Like pizza and cupcakes and pretzels and ice cream and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so they're very cute. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then I totally forgot these were mine. <laughs> I for, so I forgot that we got, uh, these were at the outlet too, right? No. Yeah, they were not at the outlet. Where were these? Oh, we got these as a deal because she got us a pair of socks and I got a pair of socks with it in the park. So 
Uh, this is like a pair of Mickey socks, and they, they're like dress socks. I'll wear these as dress socks, and they're the perfect dress socks because they got Mickey's face on them. <laughs> and then I, the only other like pair of socks that I got were just these like the tea party ride, and then it has like the Dormouse in one of the teacups, and I just thought they were very cute, and I wear socks every day. It's a practical use. Of money. <laughs> Actually, the last clothing, clothing item was this black petticoat because I have the white petticoat that I bought at Disneyland last year and I really love it and it goes with like a ton of my skirts and I've been wanting one in black so I actually intended to buy this like before we even went and I found it yeah. in my size. I really struggle finding it in my size though. I wonder if they're gonna stop carrying them because none of the stores had them in a small besides one. Yeah. And then it took them like 15 minutes to even find the like price for it because like it didn't have like a skew on it yeah. or anything. So strange. I wonder but Anyway, I finally have one and I'm very happy. So, I mean, we've shown a, the, these before, really, but when we wore them throughout the week, Giselle uh, had her Pirates of the Caribbean Magic Band and I had my Mickey Magic Band, which were lovely to wear. I We totally didn't forget and or lose them the entire week. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, well, and that, because of that, we totally didn't have to get a, a new one, uh, which is this one, the Nightmare Christmas one, which is really cool. We both really like this one a lot. And yeah, it's awesome. And then we have the red one. That one actually has Giselle's name in it. Uh, but we didn't actually use this one at all the whole week. All right, and then the next section is the me section because it's all like jewelry and purses and stuff. So let's go through the first things that aren't actually jewelry, but I make, well, they technically are, but I'm making them into jewelry, is I bought a ton of charms that are going, that I'm going to make into earrings. So I've already made my first pair into earrings. Yeah, she wore these one of the days already. So my Beauty and the Beast like movie cover, and then I already put the studs on them. So I have a pair of those, but now I can make all of these into them as well. So really quick, I bought some Mickey ice cream cones and it has a little like bite out of it to make into an earring set. I got these little like sorcerer Mickey hats, which I think would be really cute for like a Disney bound, especially. Yeah. I got these little like Mickey waffles because Christopher's obsessed. And if I wear these, he'll want to bite my ears. <laughs> 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 anyway, and it has a little pat of butter on them. They're very cute. And then finally, I just got one of these, not a pair, because I don't really care about Mickey's face, but he has these little little hands, his little gloves, and I thought these would be really cute, like funky earrings to make. So these are all the things that I'm going to make into earrings, but aren't actually earrings. And then I got that are actually earrings, this like really cool like Beauty and the Beast set. So it has Lumiere and Mrs. Potts and then some red roses and I ended up wearing both these two this week and then I didn't end up getting to wear these but I definitely will wear Lumiere in the future. And then the last pair of earrings that I got are like the funkiest things ever. Oh yeah, um, we I did show these a little bit in the, we didn't really talk about them at all but I showed the store we got them from in Epcot because it was a really cool store. Yeah, they were like, I think she was talking about them and they were like, I guess all the masks are sent over. They're like hand painted by this like lady in Italy and they're really cool. And we actually ended up going to French Quarter. French Quarter and they had a ton of masks that you can buy there, including earrings. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, they're not perfect. I'm definitely going to have to like twist the wires a bit and like make it perfect because they're not, but the masks themselves are perfect. Giselle spent a little bit of time with the lady picking through all the silver ones to make sure she got the exact one she wanted. Yeah, so anyway, there's these two little creepy masks that I'm going to wear for my ears, and I am so excited. I, they're gorgeous, and even as, like, an art piece, like, I will be so happy to just, like, have these on display. I definitely wouldn't wear them to work because I answer the phone all day, and I would hate to accidentally like yeah, mess them up. crush them. So they're definitely going to be like a very like unique piece that I'm not going to get to wear that often because I feel like you'll find reasons to wear them though. Like you'll yeah. try to find reasons to wear them. Well, I'm only at work. I'm at work five days a week though. So like yeah. the only day time I would have it was like on the weekends, but it's fine. And then the last jewelry piece that I got is this necklace. Which, let me take out of the packaging really quick. And it's this little teacup necklace that's from the ride. I don't actually love this ride, but 
I can't really say that because I haven't been on this ride well, in just, so many years because Christopher won't go on it. I me. hate spinning rides. <laughs> I cannot stand them. I, they're not fun. All I do want to, all I do is want to make make me want to barf. So. Fair enough. I haven't been on it probably since I was like 13, so it's been over 10 years since I've been on it. But I really love Alice in Wonderland, and I love the detail in this that it has like the little like chip out of it, like that's the door, and it comes on it. I just think it's so cute, and oh, I love it. I'm obsessed. So, yes. Another Alice thing for the collection. <laughs> A few more Alice things for the collection, actually. Yes. While we're on the subject, is this little wallet that is the door knob um, from, from Alice in Wonderland, and like the zipper is a key, which I think is so cute. I got these from the outlet, and I just like love it so much. <laughs> it's definitely gonna go on my Alice shelf on display. If you weren't aware, I have a full Alice shelf. And... Yeah, we've shown that. We've shown that in the. <gasps> I showed it in the the planning video that when I made. But. And another Alice <laughs> thing that will be going on the shelf is my little white rabbit clutch, which has the little heart, and then it has like a little like pocket watch clock connected, and it's just like a little zipper pouch, and I am obsessed. I love them so much, and I think this is such like a nice touch for like, again, like a Disney bound, like oh yeah to wear like his clothing because like wearing a shirt that just like has a like a big heart on it kind on of, the nose yeah and not my style like mm -hmm. people can definitely do it but it's just not my style i would never wear that but like if i can like pair this with it and just like take some fun pictures and stuff like oh totally worth it okay so <laughs> now moving on to bags the first one we showed a lot yeah giselle wore this several times this week I love fanny packs, so this was perfect. It's my Haunted Mansion wallpaper, and it's the purple, and it's gorgeous, and I love it. And attached to it right now, I have this hand sanitizer that we it, Yeah, it was fine. It was attached to my backpack for, for a while. I really hate the hand sanitizer that came in it, though. So I dumped it out, washed it out, and put my own hand sanitizer yeah. in. We tried to use it, and like it makes your hands so disgustingly sticky, but... Now I have a nice attachable one that is, I think, really perfectly themed for this. I think it dangles down a bit too much. I'm definitely going to have to, like, shorten it yeah. and attach it, but, like, ugh, I'm obsessed. And then some more Haunted Mansion stuff that we got. I totally, like, lucked out on this bag, and I can't Ser believe... It's, they, it is so cheap. <laughs> like... So we got this. It was 15 bucks at the outlet store. That, I mean, the retail price is only 40 bucks, but still. I like, mean, 15 bucks for a, a bag like this from Disney. It, from, it was from the outlet store, like we said. It was so cheap. And it's so nice. And the design is so cool that it, there's literally only one left. We saw it. Took it to the register. Yeah, and I like normally I wouldn't wear like a like a handbag. Like I just think they're kind of uncomfortable. So I even said like once I bought it, I was like, oh, I just need to go like get a chain that I can attach to it so I can make it like a crossbody so I'll actually use it. And then I finally ended up unzipping it and taking all the like packaging out of it that was keeping it all puffy. And it comes with a freaking chain in it well not chain it, like a strap. a strap so now i can just hook it on and it's a crossbody already and that makes me so happy oh my gosh i'm in love with this bag yeah when we took when we took it to the <laughs> register they said that they hardly ever get them in and when they do they go like that so we were very lucky and to she get said it. that this one was a return actually that's when we right. brought it back in they put it on the shelf and then i came in and grabbed it right and i'm like oh <laughs> good thing you found that okay and then I feel like I can't even talk about this next item because I'm so excited. I am drooling over it. And this, is, this is also the last time she gets to see it until Christmas. Oh, this is my Christmas present from Christopher. Like, my actual Christmas present. And this is my only present because, like, it was a really big splurge for us. It's the most expensive thing that... Oh, definitely. <laughs> I own? Like, oh, well, I thought like, you meant that we bought. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that for sure. But also, like, as far as, like, clothing pieces or anything, like, this is, like, double the price of anything I've ever bought before. <laughs> so, like, it's very it was It was something we thought about all week, <laughs> and we ended up deciding that Giselle was going to get it for Christmas. Yeah, so it's this Dooney and Burke bag, which I never thought I would actually own a Dooney and Burke. And I really like a lot of their designs, but, like, I fell in love with this. Like, it's the 50th anniversary for Disneyland for the Haunted Mansion so it has the wallpaper on it it's absolutely gorgeous the little like tag that came with it is like 50th anniversary as well 
and it's just like the perfect size for me personally like this is like a perfect like just on the go bag for me like this is like my fanny pack but with a strap um <laughs> and i love it and christopher was like you can get it we have to get it for you because you love it so much but it's your christmas present yeah, she was like staring at it like longingly, like looking at them all, like sitting on the floor looking at them all in the store, like looking at what they all look like because the print is slightly different, like the way it's been done on each one. And she was like looking at which one she liked the best. And she wasn't, I don't think she was like necessarily planning on getting it. And I was like, Giselle, get it. You'll get it for Christmas. And if, you'd, uh, if you've been to Disney World or if you watched the vlogs, then you would know that there's a haunted mansion in. Disney World, but this is for Disneyland's Haunted Mansion, but they were selling a bunch of Disneyland, uh, Disneyland's Haunted Mansion 50th, like, anniversary stuff. Yeah. I, I'm not entirely sure. I guess just to have the merch more widespread, I guess. I'm not entirely sure why they sold it also in Disney World, but I'm glad they did, because it's, this is the, this is the year, 2019, so they probably wouldn't have had it next time we go to Disneyland. Yeah, so. and I just, like, I love it. I love it so much. I can't believe I own this. Like, I'm in shock, and thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just very glad that I have something awesome to give her for Christmas. And I did end up getting one more bag, which we already showed as well. I got three Haunted Mansion bags, which is absurd, and then I got one last bag, which is... This backpack, which again I was planning on getting before we even went, because yeah, she saw it and was like, "I have to get that when we yeah, go." Yeah, I saw it online and I was like, "If we see this, I must have." It's one of the Loungefly backpacks, and oh, this is also Loungefly, by the way. My fanny pack, also Loungefly, yeah. but this is a Loungefly backpack that has the Cinderella castle on it, the Walt Disney World castle, and I just think it's really gorgeous and so cute i just love this art style and it matches like my disneyland dress so even though they're like different castles or whatever like who cares they're great and i just saw it i like fell in love with it and ended up wearing it a few days and ugh, it's just i can imagine her using it a lot yeah i love it and i have this exact like size of backpack like i think it's their mini backpack i have it already in a pokemon print a pokeball print and i love it and i wear it every single day <laughs> to work so this one might be like a nice one to switch out with that one occasionally and then i also before the trip christopher gave, christopher gave me for my birthday the mini mouse like red one so now i have three of these lounge fly backpacks and i just like love them so much they're perfect for me it was amazing how many lounge fly backpacks like lounge fly makes so many of these and so many different kinds there's a it's amazing how many different kinds we saw at disney world everyone had them and they're really cool there's so many cool designs and i really like the ones giselle has and then i know i've been doing all the talking but it's because christopher spoiled me absolute rotten i have a couple more things that i bought basically right before the trip maybe two weeks before the trip my skin I just started getting like hives all over my body and I was like why and I realized that it was from my body wash the same body wash that I've been using for like the past year that's never affected my skin before so I've been like looking for like more like natural like soaps that are super like low irritants and stuff like that and I've Bought in quite a, I bought quite a few, but when we were at Epcot, we ended up seeing this little like outdoor stall that was actually like next to like the Africa place. It was like and, a little Africa outpost kind of thing. Yeah, and it was like right there, and there's all these like natural soaps, and so I ended up buying three of them because it was like three for twenty, I think. So the first one I got is this pumpkin spice one. Uh, the company is Rinse Bath and Body Co. And it's 98% natural. And then I think these other ones might be also that. Oh, this one's 100% and this one is also 98. So I got a Yucca Mint loofah. So the soap is like around a loofah. Oh, <laughs> it's focusing on Christopher's face. So it's like the loofah is inside the soap. So it's also like exfoliating. She said it's like mid exfoliation and then i also got this pumpkin ale beer soap which just they all just smelled really good and i thought some nice like fall scents would be nice for the fall you would think and then i also ended up getting these three little like packs of bath salts <laughs> so i got peppermint <laughs> and then i also got this almond and honey one and then i got a third one which was another like mint and tea tree i think is what it was and i used it last night at the hotel like i took a nice bath soaking at bath. like 2 a.m 
yeah and it smelled really nice and I'm very excited to have these as well they'll, they'll be nice little like treats for myself so at the outlet I saw there like a whole shelf of these and I saw it and immediately had to get it I think it was only like 12 bucks or something like it was originally 40 at the parks and I'm pretty sure it was like 12 or 15 dollars at the outlet you need to kind of see what it is there and I'm gonna open it real quick. I haven't even opened it yet to look at it. So let's do that right now. It's a little bit bigger than I realized it was, but I guess it makes sense from the, the box. It comes in a huge box. It's bigger than I thought it was. Oh, it even comes with a battery. <laughs> so I actually bought this with the purpose of putting it on my desk at my new, at my new desk at work. Uh, I am- That is so cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be moving my job. I've mentioned before I'm moving, my, my, my job is moving from where it currently is to Boston, to an office in Boston. And I bought this like Mickey clock to put on my desk there, which I'm really excited about. I mean, I'm like, I was looking for things to like be able to put on my desk and I, I thought this one was really cool. Oh, I'm really happy about that's it. It's adorable. I really like it a lot. This was also at the outlet and it's like, just like a little Mickey, little Mickey uh, pen, just cause it was not, it was like, yeah, it was, Yes, that's why I got it. His little body <laughs> goes in and comes back out. It's fantastic. And I'm gonna probably put this on my desk as well at work. So a few more like home decor-esque pieces that we got and and stuff in general. Uh, the first one we also got at the outlet. I just love, we love like Disney knick knickknacks. We have them all around our house. We showed that. I showed that on the, the planning <laughs> vlog. And so this is another one that I thought would be perfect to add. And it is this like pirates knickknacks set. Like... That's a tea set. And it's so cute. You're, it's really hard to see in the box. I'm definitely going to take it out. First off, oh, they're kind of heavy. They're heavier than I expected it to be, is the teapot. With this little lid. Oh, that's a sailboat. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. They also had a Snow White one, but I thought the Pirates yeah, one this was one, like cooler. Yeah, this one was way cooler. So there's that. And then the cup. <laughs> this is little skull. And this is the coaster. <laughs> so we're just going to set this up on a shelf somewhere because it's awesome. Yeah, well, it's for decoration. You're not actually supposed oh, yeah, to like, yeah. drink tea out of it. And then the sugar bowl is, oh my gosh, this is like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, is... <laughs> The guy that's like being drowned. <laughs> oh, in the in well. The well. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Do not tell them, Carlos. No, 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 no. So that's the back of his head spitting, and then the front of his head spitting, and like it's so silly. But that's the sugar bowl. <laughs> and then finally, the last piece in here is the the pitcher, the cream pitcher, which is a little parrot with an eye patch. Wait, you can't see the eye patch. There we go. Pirate, parrot. Fant Pirate parrot. <laughs> fantastical. These actually feel like really nice quality too. Like they, they, they're like heavy, they got weight to them and they just feel nice. Yeah. I wish that like I could have like justified like getting the snow white one as well. Like I want them all, but I'm like one miniature tea set that is has no practical use at all is probably enough. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. And then quick some more stationary things that we got that we meaning I got at the Tokyo store, the the Japan, uh, it's the Japanese Mits, store. Mits, Mitsu something. I don't remember exactly what it's yeah. called, but anyway, they had a bunch of Totoro stuff. Mitsu M Mitsukoshi, Mitsukashi. And I bought a lot of Totoro stuff. Well, I only bought three things. That's not too bad. So the first thing is this notebook that has Totoro on it, and it's like a graph paper, and it has little like soot sprites along the tops of the pages, and also like Totoro at the bottom. And they're so cute. I love Totoro so much. It's a great little notebook. I like it. <laughs> and to write in it, I now have some pen options. So I slipped them out of their packaging really quickly. But the first one is this Totoro like wooden pen that yeah has like the different creatures all over it. And yeah, Totoro's at the bottom, and he's holding his little flower. And there's the mini Totoros as well. And there's Soot Sprite and. It's actually a pencil. Wow, I thought it was it's a pen. A, it's a lead it's pencil. It's a lead pencil. Yeah. I don't think I realized that, but like that's fine too. And then to go along with that, I also got this really cool ballpoint pen that also has Totoro on it. Surprise, surprise. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself for not buying more than I ended they up They had getting. a lot of really cool Totoro stuff. It was very expensive though. Yeah, that's which true. Which helped justify like not getting it all because I'm like, I can't spend $40 on a like 100 piece puzzle. Like that's absurd, Disney, AKA this store, which I don't think is run by Disney. So not really Disney's fault, but it was really expensive. So I just got a few small pieces. I did get one other Totoro thing. Doesn't really fit into this category, but we'll show it anyway. And it is these like absolutely adorable chopsticks with its own little set. And sometimes I will like take stuff to lunch with me that I want to eat with chopsticks. And I don't have like a nice like travel pack to take with me. So like the chopsticks Ooh. just say like my neighbor Totoro on them. But they're like mini chopsticks for like my small hands, which I think will be nice. And then they also, you can just slide them into this little like travel set. And they're so cute. I love them. It's all like compact and oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. I love this movie so much. And then the last like stationary thing was actually from the like China store in Epcot. I just really love washi tape and I thought it would be fun to get one that's like Chinese and really pretty. Well, not quite the last stationary thing. This is something that I saw and was like, Giselle's gonna want this. It was in the same store that I got that sweater, the Art of Disney store in Epcot. And I saw this and was like, I'm gonna get this for Giselle for Christmas. But obviously it's really hard to get her anything when she's standing right there all the time. So I was like, Giselle, I'm gonna get you this for Christmas. And she was like, okay. So it's this Alice in Wonderland like book thing, but it's like a stationary set. And it's really cool. Note and cards can, and envelopes. Yeah, it can go on her like Alice shelf and stuff. And it's just, it wasn't that expensive, honestly. It was like really good. It was a really good price for what it is. And I really like it a lot. And I thought she would too. Honestly, I'll probably never use it. It's for display for us. <laughs> it yeah. will be for display. Yeah. Maybe we'll display some of the, the stationary cards like outside of it or something. We'll see. But Ugh. it's really cool. I love it. So Disney has a lot of Christmas stuff. They have a whole Christmas shop in Magic Kingdom. We were seeing Christmas ornaments all the time. And we were always like holding off until we would get into the actual Christmas shop itself. It took us to the last day to finally go to the Christmas shop. And we got a few ornaments, a couple ornaments, and I'm very happy about the ones we got. These are the ones that I liked the most, for sure. Uh, this is, if it will focus, Walt and Mickey, the partner statue. <sighs> Love them. And I'm very happy to have this as an ornament. And then the other ornament that we ended up buying for ourselves is the Mickey mouse-shaped globe that has like the fireworks on the ears and then it has all the parks inside magic so, kingdom and tower of terror so hollywood and, studios yeah and, and the then, tree of life from animal kingdom and then spaceship earth from epcot yeah so it's so beautiful i'm actually i really really like it a lot yeah, i think I'm it's really gorgeous so happy to, that we get to put that on a tree this year <laughs> Same. <laughs> gonna have a great, both of these are gonna have a place of honor on the tree. So a big goal of mine going into this trip was to get lots of magnets because I want to fill our fridge with magnets. Our fridge is gonna be filled with Disney magnets right now. I mean, we do want to get more different kinds of magnets going forward. We have a Disneyland one already and some other ones, uh, but we do need some more. This first one is not a fridge magnet. This one is actually a car magnet, which I also really wanted. I really wanted to get something like this to put on the back of a car, and I loved this when I saw it. So we got this, and this is gonna go back on, on the back of our car. And we just got a bunch of fridge magnets because I, I was kind of like obsessed with the idea of getting a bunch of them. So let's start with the more general ones. We got this Magic Kingdom one that says the most magical place on earth at the bottom, Cinderella's castle. And then this one is just like a general Walt Disney World one, which is very cool. And then I got this one that I really liked a lot. That just says, uh, to all who come to this happy place, welcome. Which is a very famous Walt Disney quote about Disneyland. And I'm very happy. I don't think I realized that you got that one. I got it, yeah, I got it from that store when I got the other ones that you weren't oh, around okay. for. Yeah. yeah. And then I got, because I had to, I, I get to stare at this every day on our fridge now, though I, it's going to make me crave it and miss it. Mickey waffle. Mickey waffle. <laughs> when it's got a little bit of butter on it, too. And I just, I knew I was going to get one of these the second I saw it. I also got this Sorcerer Mickey. So. I didn't realize you got that one either. Yeah, this was another one that Giselle was like, 
away for <laughs> in the bathroom I or something. I think I said, oh, I think you should get that, but then I went to the bathroom, and so I never actually saw what he bought, so this is a surprise for me. Yes, I ended up getting it, because I love Sorcerer Mickey. The next two we got at Epcot, I really like them because they're a little bit more unique. Uh, this one is Mickey, like, being spooked. You got that one from the Art at Disney store, where you got that sweater? Yeah. Like, oatmeal sweater? Yeah, I really liked it a lot when I saw it. I like the art style a lot. And then this one I got from the Germany Pavilion. It's not even really, like, it doesn't say, uh, it doesn't say anything Disney on it. It was just a really cool magnet. And it says, uh, made in Germany there on the back. It was the Germany Pavilion. It's just like this little wooden clock thing. It's really cool. I really like it a lot. I was really... Uh, happy to get something a little bit... Oh, I just showed it upside down. That's it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> I was really happy to get something a little bit more unique uh, to one of the countries as well. And then in Hollywood Studios, I saw this at the Joy Depot. Same place where we got that Joy Depot hat. It's just like this little, uh, like, droid eye. And it has, like, writing on the side of it and stuff. I have no idea what the writing says, but it's so cool. I love the idea of this. It's just a magnet that goes on your fridge, so our fridge is going to have an eye, a droid eye now. And I'm really happy about it. I love it. I think that's my favorite magnet that we I, got. Yeah, it's so unique, and it's like, it doesn't even say Disney World on it, and it's just like, we'll know what it is when we see it. That's great. That's awesome. And we got one from Animal Kingdom as well, which I, I, this was the one from Animal Kingdom that I liked the best, and I, it's got all of Mickey and the gang, and they're going on a safari. I also really wanted to get a Port Orleans Riverside specific magnet, and this is the one that they had, and I actually really like it a lot. It's uh, different than the other ones, it's like metal and shiny, and yeah. I would love if we can go to different resorts in the future to get their magnets as well whenever we go to them, so we'll definitely do that. And we knew we wanted to get something, a magnet or something specific to the Halloween party we went to. There weren't any magnets we really liked, but there was this pin that we really liked. It's really cool. I love this pin so much. And this is like the one thing that we got like special from the Halloween party. And we're going to cut off okay, to anyone who collects pins and loves pins, Disney pins and stuff. I'm sorry. We don't care about pins. I'm kind of glad we don't cuz we'd go crazy if we did. Yeah. Like I if I liked pins, we would be poor. It would be a major problem so I've never let myself really buy any before this trip <laughs> same we got this one because we're gonna cut off the things the pin things in the back we're gonna cut off the little pointy bits and I guess just just not use these Mickey things the Mickey uh, pushy things and make it into a magnet we're gonna like put magnetic strip on the back and make it into a magnet to put on the fridge because yeah, I really wanted that. And then we did end actually end up buying another pin, which I've never done before. This is the first pin I've ever bought at any Disney place, which is crazy because I've, I've been to Disneyland so many times. I've just never let. I just <laughs> I last time we went in 2015, and this time I just didn't want to even. I don't want to get into it because yeah. I don't want to spend all our money on pins. Because <laughs> yes. there's so many that are so. And great. they're all so expensive. <laughs> yes. uh, but I did end up getting this one because I do have an Alice shelf, so I know I can go on there and be displayed. And I love Zoom Zooms, and I already have like a bunch of Alice Zoom Zooms on that Alice shelf. And Alice pops out. And Tweedledee and Tweedledum are down there as well. And they're all stacked on top of each other. And I just thought it was so cute. And I saw it, it and I couldn't help myself. It's like the perfect pin. <laughs> yeah, for us. And, and then, like, I'm not going to, like, take it off the thing or anything. I'm just going to, like, display it as is on my Alice shelf. So on the way out of, in the way out of Orlando in the airport, there's a NASA store in the airport, which makes sense because there's a Kennedy Space Flight Center there. And I would love to go there someday. Uh, so we didn't get, like, a specific like anything to that because we haven't been yet and I feel like that would be weird but I did see this and I thought it was really cool and I thought we should get it. My mom works at NASA so I thought it'd be cool to have this to put on our fridge as well. Plus you have in. like a NASA hoodie I have a lots NASA of, hat I have lots NASA of NASA shirt. Stuff. I really love NASA stuff a lot so <laughs> I'm really happy to have a NASA magnet as well. Well and just real quick to go along with that uh, moving on here to a different section of what we're showing. This was also at the NASA store and I thought it was the coolest mug I've ever seen. I don't know, I just love it. I think the design of it is really cool. I love it a lot. And this is going to be my present from Giselle to me for Christmas. I can wait that long to use it. That's okay. I just really like, I just think the design is so cool and I love how bright red it is. And it says Nest on the side. It's so simple and so cool at the same time. I like it. I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen a, a mug like this before. So I was very happy. To He's just going to drink water out of it, though. I am just going to drink water out <laughs> of it. Because it doesn't I, drink, like, hot drinks or anything. Yeah, I'll just drink, I'll take it to work and 
use use it at work as my water cup. If you've watched the vlog for a while, you know that uh, my mom's best friend and one of my dear friends uh, passed away a few years ago, uh, Karen, and she absolutely loved Snow White like so much. And anything Snow White has like a lot of like strong like sentimental value for me because whenever I see it, I always think of Karen and usually end up crying. But I saw this wishing well and it just like, it's a wishing well mug and it just made me think of her and I wanted to get something to kind of like symbolize that and I already have another Snow White mug and so this one can go next to it and it's like a little bit corny. It says Snow White on the front but I just thought it was like really cute and I'm a fan and then it, in the side, inside it says the kindest one of all. Which I kind of like because it's like normally it's like, oh, the fairest of them all and stuff. But like, I don't know. I thought that was sweet. And yeah, I don't know. I just like Karen specifically had some, a couple different um, paintings of Snow White that I think one of her daughters ended up painting for her that was on like her wall in her hallway leading to her bedroom and I stayed with her for the few, some of the months before she passed away. And every time I would, I used to like go and like take care of her sometimes so like I'd make her food and like bring it to her and I didn't really get to see her that often I'd mostly just like leave it at her door because she just like couldn't deal with seeing people she had a lot of stress issues um but I would walk down the hallway and every time I walked down the hallway I would see them and one of them was of Snow White with the wishing well and so like also just like that specifically really makes me think of that picture so well that painting so anyway um and Karen was like a very gifted art artist so Anyway, that's my Snow White mug and that's how I got it. And we did find that one at the outlet, but I probably would have gotten something Snow White anyway if I hadn't found that one at the outlet because <sighs> Snow White always makes you think of Karen. <laughs> but another mug that I ended up getting because I am a mug obsessed. And Haunted Mansion obsessed. Is this Haunted Mansion wallpaper mug, which I really, really like and I would have been very tempted to get it regardless. But inside, which you can't really see too well, but it says hurry back. Oh my gosh. It says hurry back inside and I love that. And that's was always been, especially like in the California Haunted Mansion where you can kind of like stop and like listen to her because it's not actually part of the ride. It's like after the ride is over, the girl says hurry back. I love that quote so much. I just saw it and I was like, I have to get it. It's a really cool mug. <laughs> yes, it is. My co-worker like I said really loves Disney and uh, Illuminations at Epcot is going away uh, like at the end of this month or something and he loves Illuminations and he's not going to be there to like see the end of it or to see the the merch they have for the end of it uh, so he asked me to keep an eye out for anything anything that's like a farewell to Illuminations and I, I did and I was able to get him this like tumbler thing this like cup that has a, a plastic straw in it and has this like thing inside of it. Firework thing. Torch, I guess. Torch. And it lights up. Which is lovely. So uh, I asked him if he wanted it and oh, he gosh. said yes. <laughs> Strobin. I'm not surprised because he like he really loves illuminations a lot and so I really like the design of the cup as well. And it does say uh, farewell on the back. Farewell to Illuminations. And I'm gonna bring this to him to work probably just like tomorrow when we go to work. And um, you've probably seen these a couple times. I don't I don't remember how much we show them. We probably show them at the very beginning of the week, but we use them throughout the week at the resort. These are our resort mugs that came with the dining plan, our free dining plan that we got. Uh, this was mine and this was Giselle's. And yeah, we use them to refill with liquids to drink. And I can join our collection of all the other ones that we have because... I took them all from my parents' house and I ha we have a ton of them now, yeah. which makes me very happy. <laughs> so this is something we got at the resort. We saw in the resort gift shop and we both immediately just knew we had to have it. it was all these different like Mickey treats as coasters. They're coasters. We just bought the coasters from Bahamas, which are cool, but these are Disney coasters. <laughs> we had to have these too. So the old coasters that we used to use were like getting kind of meh. Uh, we got them like when we first moved here in our old apartment. So now we're gonna use these and our ones we got from the Bahamas. Yeah. There's a Mickey waffle and a Mickey ice cream sandwich and a donut. And I guess it's like a Rice Krispie treat or something. It's just like a, it just looks, yeah, looks kind of like I the Rice Krispie I wonder which treats. one Christopher's gonna take and use on his desk. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we also got a ton of food while we were in Disney. Uh, we'll start with this. This is something that Giselle got for herself. I did. I saw it and I got so excited and I think it's actually a pretty like reasonable price. I mean they are tea bags so it's not like the most like incredible like quality necessarily but I just really enjoy drinking tea and it's this also Winterland like tea tester set. I think there's 12. Yes, there are 12 and it's just like a nice little like set and there's a ton of different flavors and it's uh, the Wonderland tea, the unofficial birthday tea is what all of them say. And then there's like Tweedledee and a ton of different ones like the Caterpillar and the Walrus and the Carp- Walrus and the Carpenter and like the March Hare and the Card Soldiers and like all these different ones. They're really cute. I love them and I'm so excited to drink them. And then some more teas. We got, we got, did we get these all from the same shop in Ep Epcot? Yes. So this They're all was, from the UK shop in Epcot. Yeah, it was the Twinnings shop in Epcot that is like the specific like tea shop and uh, they had like, I think it was five, four for 20 or something like that. Something like that. And so I got four boxes. So this one is a Christmas tea. Christmas tea. And Ooh. then I got an assorted herbal teas. Herbal tea, woo. And then I got this pumpkin spice chai, which I've never tried before. Whoa, okay. <laughs> and then I also got, this sounds super interesting. It's buttermint. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even see you got it's this It's vanilla flavored peppermint tea. And I'm really actually so excited to try it. That's the one I'm most excited to try. It sounds like it would be delicious. Weird. I love mint tea. So now I have more tea than I can possibly drink in the next <laughs> really long amount of time but i'm gonna have fun with it we got a bunch of like treats from the japan pavilion in epcot and the chinese place as well that's yeah. where these ones are from oh is that what those ones are from okay yeah, these, these are, are ginger chews ginger chews i've had these before my family used to eat them so i've had them i know that i like them and it was fun to see them so we got a bunch of little japanese like snacks this one well they were in the japanese store at least so this one's uh koalas march which is just like a little chocolate cookie, chocolate filled cookie. And we got a bunch of these Hello Panda cookies. We got oh a chocolate, we already ate a box of these. And they're, they're, so they're very good. They're good, I love them. <laughs> and we got chocolate, we got <laughs> strawberry, and we got vanilla and the second chocolate. There's... They're kind of like a like yes. a wafer cookie, sort of. They're like very thin wafery, just filled with like this delicious chocolate yeah, and inside. Well, filled with the flavor that they are. Yeah. The chocolate ones have chocolate in them. Then we got these two different mochis, which Giselle really wanted to get. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited about this one because it's like an assortment. But also, so I got that one in the Japanese one, and then I got this one from the Chinese okay. pavilion. Cause I saw it and I was like, Taro! I got Christopher kind of hooked on Taro as well. You like Taro now too. I did like, oh yeah. I totally didn't even like realize that was, that's what this was. Definitely gonna, we're gonna be snacking all these snacks very shortly here. And we also got uh, some Pocky. We already ate a box of them. We already ate the box of the Machi Pocky that we bought. Yeah. We ate the whole box matcha. the day. Matcha, sorry, matcha. <laughs> the whole, the, the day we got them. We also got the banana ones, which I really wanted to try. Uh, I don't think Giselle, Giselle cares much about these ones. I don't really. <laughs> but we also got chocolate because the chocolate pocky is fantastical. And I always used to get chocolate pocky uh, from the Japan Pavilion when I was younger. And we also got uh, strawberry, the crunchy strawberry. So. BA Test Kitchen actually just ended up doing, uh, Bon Appetit Test Kitchen just ended up doing like the like pastry uh -huh. chef makes. And they did an episode on Pocky very recently, and I heard that the strawberry ones were one of the best ones with the crunchy on the outside, so I got really excited when I saw it. I was like, yes, I can try it. <laughs> I'm really excited about these. We actually bought this whole box with a snack credit, and I, you know, I don't really like maple syrup that much, but I'm still like, this is one of the things I'm most excited about trying. I think I might try some of these tonight, actually. They're maple cookies from Canada, the Canada Pavilion in Epcot, which are really cool. It's just like a whole box of maple cookies. And they have like a cream inside and actually, oh, okay. Christopher's mom makes these delicious cookies at Christmas time that have like a cream inside. Like yeah. the cream wafers, is that what she calls them? Yeah, cream wafers. And they kind of like, how they look made me think of cream wafers, so. I'm gonna try one right now, actually. That's good. Mm. That's a really nice cookie. And the, the maple flavor isn't like 
too strong or anything like that. It's maple for, for sure, but it's like just a nice cookie. You like it? I like it all right. I don't love it, but I do like it. I don't know if I'd ever buy them again, but it's tasty. I it feel like tasty. I feel like this is the kind of cookie though that would like they're very rich. Mm-hmm. It's very buttery. rich though. Yeah. So if you Buttery, eat more yes. than like one or two, it would give me a major stomach ache. I would definitely need to drink the, like drink water with these or maybe have some milk with it or something. But they're very good. Yeah. Like I like it, but do you want the last of mine? <laughs> so on the last night, Giselle and I both bought a box of taffy to bring to our works with us. The, I I bought a, some taffy to bring to work with me last year when we went to Disneyland and they really liked the taffy. Uh, at my work, so I got a whole box of it for them, and Giselle decided to get a box for her work as well. So now we got two boxes of taffy for each of us to take to work with us. Mm, no, not gonna lie, I'm low key gonna eat some. Well, I, I'm gonna eat some too. <laughs> I felt like I'm just gonna let them devour like, them all without I'm like, me trying any. Babe, I want to get some for my work, and like most of them will be eaten by people at my work, but like also. I really wanted some taffy all week, but I felt like I couldn't justify buying it for myself. <laughs> so I also bought these cookies for my work as well. I wanted to bring a few different treats, and they're just, uh, they have like Mickey and the gang on them, and they're just like graham cookies. Thought it'd be a nice little treat to bring to work, a nice simple treat to bring to work with me. And then a few of the people that I work with really like Star Wars, and so I bought one of these for myself. This is the one that I drank in Star Wars Land when we went. And it's empty, so I'm gonna. I, I have an empty one now, but I also wanted a full one just to have, and I also wanted to give a few people at work one. So I bought five of them. This is the other four that I bought all at once, and so yeah, I'm glad that they survived the trip, and now I can bring them to work with me tomorrow. They didn't to... explode in the air. <laughs> yeah, I was actually really worried that they would, <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'm gonna bring these to work with me tomorrow to give to people that want them. So and the very last food item that we have to show, and one of the very last things we have to show, is our two bags of free candy that we got from trick or treating at the Halloween party. Lovely. We've already eaten some of it. Not we gonna have. lie. <laughs> and a couple of the other like free things we got. Uh, we have a food and wine festival passport thing that we like put stickers in while we were there and kind of like marked off with like what we wanted to do and what we wanted to taste and whatnot. I got this like whole thing of Mickey stickers from someone, like the the lady who we bought that first Mickey hat from, the black one, just like put a whole thing of these in the bag with it. And I don't know why, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but I'm so happy to have them. <laughs> we got, and when you go into uh, Splash Mountain, some of the time, uh, some sometimes they don't have them. This one kind of got scratched up a little bit, but that's fine. It's just like a Ziploc bag that says, have a zippity doo da day. I think they give these to you to put your like electronics in while you go on the ride. It's and a, and keep dry with Ziploc. Yes, and keep dry with Ziploc. Yes, and to advertise Ziploc, so. Because Ziploc, I think Ziploc like sponsors the ride now or whatever. But and I, I did get a, another one of those, but we put all of our receipts in them. This is all of the receipts from the trip. The green slips are like there's multiple. So like, we didn't get this. The green slips are for like picking things up from the front of the parks or from picking them up for resort from the resort gift shop. If we had it shipped to the gift shop after we bought it, but they give you like three copies of each one. So that's why it looks like there's so many because they gave us like three copies of each one every time we got something delivered like that. And then the last thing, which wasn't, I, this isn't, wasn't a free thing, but... Well, the pictures were free, but printing them wasn't. Yes, printing them was not free. We got these pictures done in the photo booth. We uh, we did this in our, on our first trip in 2015, and we decided to try and recreate... Well, I don't actually know if we did the exact poses, but we did some of the exact poses. Yeah, we here, just let me show this one. Our absolute babies in this first one. Look how different we look. Yeah. This is this is nuts so man. Four years apart. That's crazy. <laughs> so oh we did like a we looked at each other and was like, okay, I couldn't remember what the third one was, but that's good enough. I'm very happy to have these now. I'm so excited that we have another another one of these. I've had this on my desk all like yeah, I've always had it on my desk since since we got it. This is so freaking cute. I love these. Same. Ugh. So that's everything we got at Disney World. I don't even <laughs> want to... I'm not going to tell you how awful our living room looks like right now. Right now, our coffee table is covered in just the stuff we just showed. Wait, one more thing. Oh, yeah. Forgot. I totally forgot about these. Crap. We're not done yet. So, they're actually not the best quality, which 
Well, now we know. <laughs> only one of them. Well, we've only used one of them That's, so far. Yeah. Anyway, we ended up getting one from every park of the reusable bags. They have a different one for each park. So this is the Magic Kingdom one. We actually did use this one too. This one's held up pretty well when we just used it to bring it back, bring stuff back to, uh, from the airport and stuff. There's a specific Galaxy Edge one. Yeah, that we uh, had to get, of course. We did end up using the Epcot one and it did get pretty wrinkly. It already started to like tear too. Oh, okay. They're not good quality. They're not great quality, yeah. <clears throat> Here, here's here's Epcot. They each have something on the back and the front, like that. And then this was the actual real Hollywood Studios one. Yeah, not just the Galaxy's, Galaxy's Edge specific. There's a the Tower of Terror. Lovely. Oops. And then this is the specific Animal Kingdom one, which has Pandora on it. And this is one that we also carried stuff in today. The stuff was not even heavy, and the bag has like already like started to rip. Yeah, it's weird. Where I don't all know. the handles. Which is are. sad because I really like the bags, and I really like this bag, and I'm sad it's like kind of ripping a little bit. Yeah, so like we're not actually gonna be able to use this to like shop or. Yeah, anything we were hoping to be able to use them as reusable bags to go grocery shopping. Because and stuff. that's the point of them. We're like, oh, we could get something functional and cute. But like yeah we were really hoping to have something actually we could use they're already falling apart though so i don't know disappointed we're... in that disney i don't know <laughs> what we're gonna do with them and then the last one we got though which was the like resorts the resort one that's just like it says walt disney world it does have the castle on it but it has something from every park yeah it's like this is the bag they use at all the different hotels and stuff so they're really cool uh they were really inexpensive i mean i mean if i guess it would be it would be better if they were actually usable and not break. They didn't break so easily. Obviously, uh, I'm not super happy about that. Yeah, but I they were they were like, pretty they were pretty cheap. So I it's okay. I feel like the single use plastic ones hold, hold up better than those, which is actually absurd. Yeah. Well, they're oh, cool well. to look at at least. <laughs> I don't know how functional they'll end up be, but we didn't know that they were so like awful quality until we had already left, and I was like, oh dang it. They're really pretty though. They are. And then to like end off the video, the rice cake with fruit flavored bean paste in mango, peach, and pineapple. She's, she just opened this, the one of the, um, what are these called again? Rice mochi? cakes? Right, mochis. Mochis, yes. She opened one of the mochis and we're gonna try one. Hmm, that's actually very sweet. Mm hmm. Oh, I like that. That was good. It's not. I don't love it, but it was good. I think that was one of the mango ones. Mm hmm I don't really think it tastes like mango. It's kind of just like sweet and fruity. Mm hmm But it's weird because I've actually never had a mochi with bean paste in it. I've only ever had mochi ice cream. Yeah. Which is the mochi surrounding the it's, little ball of ice cream. It made it very like gummy. Like even like more so than usual. Even like gummier, it just made yeah. it like very gummy in the middle, yeah. But actually really delicious. Well, I think that's the end of this, though. We uh, we got a lot of stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all of our Disney vlogs. I hope you enjoyed it. We loved our trip. I can't believe it's over. It's baffling to me that we're home so quickly. It feels like we were gone forever, but it also feels like we were the trip went by like that. And yeah, we feel very like blessed that we yeah. were able to do this, though. We we saved up for yeah, quite a bit. Planning and... for a long time. Saved for a long time and planned a lot yeah and i think it really paid off like we had a really great trip and i feel like we got done almost everything that we wanted to do i think there's only a couple things that we ended up missing in the end which is purely just based off of us like not pay paying attention to like when the yeah. park closes and stuff but overall it was just like the perfect disney trip it really was a really great trip like the crowds were so low the first few days like from like sunday to thursday i would say was crowd like crowds were like the exact level i wanted it to be the next few days were like way more crowded but it was still really fun and it was just a great trip it was everything i wanted it to be it was everything i wanted the trip to be when we originally set out to plan it and do it and i'm very happy and Same. we had a great time <laughs> together yeah awesome trip yeah and we feel very like spoiled with everything we were able to get and now we have to clean up our house. We have to clean up our apartment and put find a place for things. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We'll see you 
very soon. I don't know when. I have to edit all the Disney vlogs now. So we'll see you very soon with more.